<laughs> Move to Miami and cop me a boat Hold my fees, don't stop doing coke Bitch, I'm a champ on top of the ropes Movies every time I talk Nine millimeter every time I talk I do all the shit without the stylus I got money, never went to college I got all my cars and I deny it Uh, uh. What's going on guys? Welcome back to No Policy Productions. I forgot to press record the first half, but I'm Christo. This is Mayon. Uh, today we're doing a how-to video for this little baby right here. Infinity G37, the best car ever. Bro, why did you know I was going to look up, bro? Because you know it's, like, not fast. I just know you're going to talk. Shit. Anyway, so today's how-to video is a manual swap. Something that we've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, yeah. So, I, there's not a lot of good videos out there on the internet about manual swapping VQs. And it's not that because hard. Shit. Excuse me? Because they're shit. Don't you have a VQ? No, I don't. Oh, yeah, not anymore. Anyway, there's not a lot of good videos online of how to do this, so we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial for you guys. So if you guys want to manual swap your VQ, you can, because VQ uh, swaps the world, you know? So this, say that for LS, bro. It's, it's actually VQ swap the world. I do not think so. VQ swap the world. So this is a parts list. And basically, it's just a list of like, um, oh yeah, you see that? It's the rainbow flag. Anyway, this is just a list of all the steps, all the torque specs, and every part that you need. Are you are you okay? Yeah. That shit just hit your head? No. Oh. It did not. But yeah, so these are all the parts that you're going to need. You guys can pause and take a picture of that. I'm pretty sure that's like every single part. And then these are all the steps that we're going to be following because this is the first time that we've made a list like this. Yo, can you move the fuck out the way, bro? Shit. I'll get paid enough for this shit. Oh. oh. Anyway, that's the transmission. If you guys didn't know. But yeah. So these are all the steps we're going to be following. So we're going to try to record as much as possible. And as best as possible. So right now, mine is just taking off all of the unnecessary shit. Like the intakes to make more space. Um... We make sure you always un unplug the battery first. That should be a given, but you don't want any foo foo shit to go wrong. So yeah, um, now he's taking off the hood. So we'll just have clear. Good one. Yes. Taking off all the unnecessary shit, the hood and everything, so we can put everything back. So yeah, I mean, so we can have more space because we gotta go back there to get the transmission bolts. So yeah, we'll get back to you. Bro, we'll we get back to you after we take everything off. So this is just the basic stuff. Like to take the intakes off, they have some, um, what is it called? The ring thingies? Huh? The clamps or whatever? O -rings? Yeah, O-rings. Those o are O-clamps. -clamps. Those are 8 millimeter O-clamps. Yeah, like there's like a plastic little ring in there that you pop out and the strut pops out. And then for the hood, there are two 12 millimeter bolt nuts. You take these two nuts off and the hood just comes off. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this... I just took apart all the non-essential things that will give us more space. So all the plastic, all the trim pieces and the hood. So everything in this area is gone. One thing to know if you're doing this on a G37, I don't know how it's like for other cars, but for the plastic piece that's there, um, these are the arms for the wipers. So you have to unscrew this. Like there's like a tap on top. You pop the tab off, unscrew those nuts. And then you have to take the whole wiper arm off to pop that plastic piece out we got to move to the interior and we got to take apart the basically all the center console pieces so we can get to um i guess the drive stick so right now all i did was i popped off the center console and um now what we got to do is remove 
all these plugs and honestly i'm not sure what else we have to do we're gonna figure it out as we go there was low-key one one um plug on the center console that was a bitch to take out but other than that we good we got the center console out all the way so now there are these clips right here one two three that you're gonna have to pop this wire out and then 10 mil 10 mil and then same on the other side and then this whole shifter assembly thing should come out i think so these two and these two 10 millimeter bolts they're out and the shifter linkage came off shifter linkage down there is held on by where did that shit go okay well it's gone but it's like a rod that comes from the transmission so when you shift it moves this back and forth so it's just it's a 12 millimeter nut that's screwed onto there so you just take that nut off and then you can pop the whole shifter linkage off so now that you have all the interior and all the plastic pieces taken off all the shit that you don't need you jack the car up and i would not recommend doing that if you're doing it by yourself this is just temporary until i get some bigger jack stands because i'm a big guy got to fit underneath the car but um it's still safe though it's not unsafe it's just because like like two by fours are good and i use two on each side it's just so i can have the car sit a little higher but now um the next thing you got to do is ugh, you got to go underneath the car and remove most of the exhaust i would remove it from so here's the y pipe right here i take off those two i'm pretty sure they're 14s most of them are either 14s or 13s you can usually figure that out pretty easy but take those two off and take it off on this side so take the y pipe completely off and then you could take off the test pipes or cats whatever you have if you want to you don't really need to my own usually me and mine had a big argument last time he's like we should take them off and i was like no we should you can take them off if you want to it's like a personal preference kind of thing if you want more room or not i think I don't know i'm really lazy so i don't really want to take them off but you know so just next step is to take the exhaust apart so you give yourself more room to pull the transmission out because that's a transmission brace right there so the transmission's right there so you got to pull the whole thing out and the exhaust is just in the way and you got to take the drive shaft out as well which is right there and the exhaust you can't take the drive shaft out with the exhaust is in so yeah take the exhaust off and then there's a panel right there which you gotta take off as well but i'll get to that after i take the exhaust off okay hi i'm back low-key i forgot to record i'm sorry but i didn't do anything that i didn't tell you i was gonna do oh there's like oh, okay so I took the y pipe off and all that shielding i told you guys that like like protects the drive shaft those for the shielding it's just like a few like 10 millimeter bolts it's not too hard um, the flex pipe was easy for my car. I got my exhaust fixed up. So it's all welded for one piece So oh my god Is my resonator crap? That's a good one. That's a good one. Anyway, yeah, so I just had to take off basically the entire exhaust just because the drive shaft um, It was in the way of the drive shaft. So now What I did Was right now I'm draining the transmission fluid just so when I take the drive shaft out, it doesn't like, you know, leak. But I kind of fucked up because <laughs> I took off the drain plug and I dropped it inside the bucket and I didn't think that it was gonna, you know. Yeah, so me and mine are gonna play rock, paper, scissors to see who has to stick their hand in the bucket of old training fluid. But yeah, so now here's the drive shaft. It's pretty long, like my car. But <laughs> um, so for the drive shaft, there are three bolts, not the silver ones, but the black ones. Okay, I lied. It is the silver ones. Also, to make it easier, you can, if you put the transmission in park, you can crack the bolts loose. And then for the one on the other side, you just put it back in neutral and then, you know, twist it. And also this is that linkage I was talking about from up top. 
So this just moves back and forth when you shift your thing. So this is park. And that is neutral. That is neutral. So now the drive shaft is off. Always make sure to drain your tranny fluid or else it is going to come out the back when you take the drive shaft off. Mine and I learned that the hard way. And also, another thing you gotta do is anytime you take something out and you think there might be a leak, there's most likely gonna be a leak. So just put your drain pan there so you don't make a mess in your mom's garage and then you get yelled at. And then you have to clean it. But yeah. So now, we got the interior out, we got the drive shaft out, we got the exhaust out. Now basically all that's left to take, where's the camera? <laughs> um, now that basically all that's left to take out is the tranny, which is the hard part. And that's what I need my main man, Mayon for. So, no way, Jose. hi ladies and gentlemen, Mayon is back. You ain't gonna catch me. We're gonna play rock, paper, scissors to see who has to fish the train drain blood out of drain blood. <laughs> Drain plug out of the <laughs> bucket of tranny fluid. Drain plug. Come, man. I'm not playing that. Best out of three. I'm fine. Rock, Rock, paper, paper scissors, shoot. You Do bitch. It. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Do it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> you <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What the? T oh, God. Oh, God. I'm fine. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> I can't take it. No, I'm done. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Fuck. Best out of three. Ooh. Best out of three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Next is loosening the tranny and dropping it, but that's a long process. I'm going to start this later. Apologize. Oh, yeah. Sorry, what? Oh, yeah. Wow. Anyway, we're taking the transmission out. I'll insert a diagram of the bell housing uh, bolts. Yo, can you shut the fuck up? Thank you. Oh my god. So yeah, now to, there are two bolts facing toward the back of the car. You got to take this plate off right here. This small little plate. This one. So there's four four bolts on the front. One, two, three, four. And then four bolts on the back. Two of them are 17s. Two of them are 14s. So you drop that plate. You break those two bolts loose. And then break all your other bolts loose take the transmission jack and bring the transmission down so I'll be back so uh here we have a wild my on trying to take off the last I mean try to crack open the last two bolts of the transmission he is a a monkey if you if I do say so myself here's how you increase your survivability in situations like this <laughs> oh shit how you increase your survivability in situations like this. <laughs> my it's like cojones. fucking Spider-Man has a spider tingle. Bro, my cojones tingle, bro. Man's got his fucking cojone tingle. Hi, welcome back. So, it's been two hours. And we finally got off all the bolts for the transmission. And it should look something like this. These are the ones that face in toward the car, and these are the other ones. These two are for the starter. They're kind of stuck on the transmission right now, but the starter's out. So, yeah. Now we got our handy-dandy transmission jack that we definitely needed, so we bought. Definitely did not need, but... You can't even be talking right now. Bro, calm down. You know, my own... My own buy... <laughs> I went to go buy this transmission jack, and I buy it, and he's not there. I go look for him, and he's at the welder section, and he bought a fucking welder. 
Pour quoi? Pour quoi? Can you game, bro? God damn it. But yeah, so now we gotta put the transmission jack under the transmission. And there's this little brace right there, that black brace. Four bolts on the gun. Four bolts on there. So all you do is put the transmission jack underneath, ratchet down the transmission. There's four bolts for the mount. Take off those four bolts and then just bloop. It's not gonna be that easy, but you just bloop. And just like that, after half an hour of easy work, your automatic transmission is out. Only 30 minutes. Beautiful. But yeah, if you guys see, there's this little gap there's like and there's a, plate. a bolt. Right Yo, shut the there. fuck up. I'm talking. Shut the fuck up. There's a bolt in there that right there that holds the torque converter on. So you got to take this off, spin the crankshaft, take the next one off, spin the crankshaft. And there's like probably four or five, like Mahan said. And then the torque converter should come off. Yeah. But yeah, so we took the torque converter off and now we're putting the flywheel on. I don't think you guys need to see how to do that because it's just how to change the clutch on a G37 or VQ, it'll show up. But a tip for breaking the flywheel loose and tightening it is to hold the crankshaft. The crankshaft is a 19 millimeter um, bolt. So you just you put a breaker bar or something on there and have one person like go against you and then you break it loose and then it should be good. But right now my own is, is tightening down the new flywheel and then we're gonna put the clutch and the pressure plate on. So yeah, this just, the more we do this, like when I go underneath the car, it just feels like I'm underneath the 350. So it doesn't even feel real. So it's kind of crazy that this is actually happening, but you know, it's happening. Right, Mayan? Yeah, dude, for sure. You want to say some words to the vlog? Say some words to the vlog. Say some words. Kavian is calling. Some words. Fuck you. Hi, guys. Welcome back to No Policy Productions. <clears throat> I have two pieces of advice for everyone that's uh, watching. One, if you want to get a G37 and make it like a 350, do not. The luxury is not worth it. That shit is making our life so much harder right now that it's just, I'm going to cry. Two, if you want to do a manual swap, do not do it. Do it on a 350. Yeah, do it on a 350. Or just buy a manual car. If you think you might want a manual, just buy a manual car. Just, if you're watching this video right now because you're about to do a manual swap, just close it. Just close the video. <laughs> Sell your car. <laughs> close the video. Open up Facebook Marketplace. Put up pictures of your car, list the car for sale, and buy a new car. Because fuck that. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck that. I don't care. Because you know what we're struggling on right now? We took a goddamn transmission out. We took a full transmission out. It's over there. We're gonna put this transmission in. I'm not even worried about that. You know what we're stuck on? Show the people what they want to see. That goddamn motherfucking computerized, fucking not computerized, but motorized system is blocking the whole brake pedal from coming out. We have been struggling to get this brake pedal out for three hours. Actually, I think more than that. No, yeah, no, like three and a half hours to get a one brake pedal out, five volts. And I think 
I'm gonna start crying. Because out of the whole manual swap, this entire list, the hardest part is taking out the OEM brake pedal. Whoever the fuck at Nissan designed this goddamn car, you're fired. <laughs> fuck you. Look at him. Don't do an angle swap. Please. Please.